Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about how this whole virus has affected my business and how things are going. So please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. So let's get into this whole thing going on. I know everybody's tired of even hearing about it but the virus has affected so many businesses including mine and you know what I'm feeling for every small business owner right now anybody especially people who have to be in the salon oh my goodness to make their money and not being able to so today is March 30th which is my birthday that I'm recording this video and Trump actually extended the whole closure of businesses and you know the whole keep your distance from everybody and all of that he has extended it to April 30th so I will not be in the salon for another 30 days and this has you know you know put a damper on everybody's business right now if you're not essential then you're not making any money in the salon or you know in any other business that's kind of not essential clothing stores malls movie theaters things like that they're not making any money um uh, right now so let's get into this i am a salon order owner of a salon suite and i cannot work in my salon suite nobody in all of the suites around me can work we will potentially get fined you know arrested whatever the case is if we are caught working which is horrible my clients have been blowing me up you know trying to get the first appointment available once this whole shutdown is over so i've started a list for my clients i've taken you know my clients who have already booked that i actually had to cancel those clients are you know first come first serve for those appointments and then i started making a list after that for all of clients who wanted to come in to the salon and get styled or you know their wig on their weave done the pressing curls and all of that i've made a list for all those clients as well so they can get called as soon as you know this whole thing is over so my only thing is i'm not you know all the way asked out like i have an online presence where i sell things online i sell my wigs online so that hasn't been an issue i've had my website for about three months now and i'm still selling wigs to this day people are still purchasing so i'm still making some sort of money from that business but anything hands-on i'm not making any money from the good thing about it is the owner of the salon suites that i work in is not charging rent for our salons while we are not able to work which is always good i don't have to worry about that i just hope that they're able to pay their lease so that we all don't get kicked out of the building now i don't know where we haven't got an update on you know if they're going to close down their business at all so we just have to you know play it by ear hopefully they can keep up with their payments on the rent for the lease for the entire building so then we don't have to leave i would hate to have to find another salon suite and do that whole moving situation all over like that is just a headache and i'm not trying to do it but wigs are always selling lashes on my website they're always selling i have other things that i'm about to add onto my website i have other accessories that i'm about to add onto my website i'm finding all different types of vendors that i can get so i can add more things to my website so that i can at least make more money while this whole shutdown continues so that's what i would suggest i would suggest that everybody even if, if you have a website already look start promoting it like crazy advertise it like crazy people still are purchasing things online they're getting their tax money still people are going to start getting grants getting stimulus checks don't stop advertising your business just because you can't leave the house you can still post those old pictures of people's hair you did back in the day grab some bundles of hair and start selling them whatever way you need to like there are plenty of ways to make money at home let me just tell you, I have been busy making videos. I've been busy making wigs. I've been busy 
doing custom wigs, ordering bundles for clients and things like that, it has never stopped. It has never stopped. I have been busy even though I'm not in the salon. Just like normal, I've worked from home before so it's not a big deal for me. You guys need to just learn how to transition into doing a different type of work. And when this whole shutdown is over, everybody can take that business that they started this online business and then just incorporate it into you know your small business that you have now this is only going to make your online presence much stronger for your business than ever focus on the things that you can do and stop focusing on things you can't do that's what I've been doing. My husband has been here helping me. If y'all didn't know, he's the one that edits all my videos. So when you see me looking crazy or acting a fool, he did it. Okay, get some a support system. He's at home too. And he's finding other things to do as well. He does some of my advertising for me. He does my YouTube videos for me. He gives me great ideas on what I should and what I shouldn't do. He's always there. You guys know my husband is always there for me. I don't show him in my videos, but um, he will be in a few here and there uh, throughout the years. So um, that's just a way that, you know, this whole virus has affected my business. And, you know, don't let it affect yours. Don't let it affect, you know, your hustle. You can still get it done and you can do it right. So make sure you guys support these online businesses that are trying to uh, make money from home because if we don't do it, nobody's going to do it for us and there's no guarantee that this shutdown is going to be over anytime soon. So keep doing your hustle. All right, so that's just something about how my business is going right now. Uh, stay tuned for more information. Hopefully this shutdown is over soon. I thank you guys so much for watching. Please put your comments and concerns below. I love to hear from each and every one of you. And I thank you guys so much for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next one.